Amari, welcome to the club. Good to get your first 80 or so minutes under your belt. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's been a while since I've played. Um, my last Wrexham game is probably about three, four weeks ago now, so it was good to come out here, get 80 minutes under my belt and then start kicking on from here. Reserve game or not, it's nice to hit the back of the net. Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to score, no matter what game it is. So I'm just glad I had the opportunity to do that. Looked like you were ready for a full-on celebration there as well. Yeah, I was. I was. I had to hold it in, hold it in for uh, another special occasion. Hopefully, Saturday or whenever I'm back in. How much does it help just to settle in when you you play in a game like that with the reserve team with with the club? I mean, it, definitely because you get to know people a lot more and then um, other than just getting thrown into a first team game you get to see some of the young lads as well and see what their aspirations are coming up uh, looking um, for advice on myself or the other older pros so yeah it's definitely good just to get with everyone just not the first team lads the young lads as well what a few days it's been for you has your head stopped spinning yet yeah it's not spinning now it's not spinning um hopefully i just get settled in more and uh, just get up there for good when did you first find out that Carla were interested? About six o'clock on deadline day. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. It was, uh, it was a few days before that and it was getting blocked for some reason that I don't really know about, but I'm here now, so I was just glad to get it done. And, um, and deadline day at six o'clock, like I said, got told to go meet the gaffer. I was straight in my car, so yeah, it was good. It was crazy, wasn't it? Because we were monitoring it through the day. It was on, it was off, it was on, then it might be alone, then it, it came to a permanent deal. How did you feel about that? Uh, I was happy that it was a permanent deal because it um, it gives me time. Like sometimes, long to the end of the season, sometimes you ain't got enough time to work with a gaff while. Sometimes you need longer um, to get what you want to get out of it. Obviously, if, it, if it's as quick as possible, like you're, you're going scoring 10 goals or whatever, then great. But sometimes you just need that uh, settling in your head that you got a certain amount of time to do this to work with the gaffer and the lads. So, yeah, I was very happy at the end of the day that it was uh, a permanent for me. And it is 18 months from now. Is that a pat on the back, knowing that the manager's got that faith in you? Yeah, definitely. For, to know that he wanted me around for 18 months as well. And obviously, I read the uh, what he said about me. So it was, it was good to know that he wants to, obviously, long-term uh, work with me. And you've said it already. That means that you can settle in. You can get, really get your teeth into this club. Yeah, I could definitely settle in. Been looking last couple of days of places in Carlisle to stay. So it's definitely exciting. Um, I just can't wait to get started. You got your chance to watch the boys at Mansfield. I mean, what a way that ended. And to be part of that, I know you didn't get a chance to play, but to be part of that, again, that must really help with settling in. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we got, um, obviously when I was at Bradford, it was a 3-0 at Mansfield. So uh, to see the last goal go in, I was like, kind of like, yeah. So yeah, it's definitely good to see the fight the lads kept going until the end. And that's something I really want to be a part of. And I've, you've seen close hand, the spirit that's in that dressing room. Oh yeah, definitely from the gaffer, from the boys, even from the young lads out here today. So it's something that obviously resonates throughout the whole club. Um, that's very good. For the Carlisle fans who may not know too much about Amari Patrick, what kind of player would you describe yourself as? Um, I'm not an out and out striker, but I'm a, I could do a job like I've done today. Um, as long as I'm on the pitch attacking, I don't really mind. I like to see myself on the left, uh, probably see a lot of pace from me and um, hopefully it's exciting football. What sort of things has the manager said that he wants to see from you over the next 18 months? He said he wants to see a lot of fight. He said he wants me to obviously improve improve my strengths and um, that's he's going to work with me to do that. And he just wants me to see me obviously hit the back of the net as much as I can, whether playing on the wing or up top and um, just do a job for the lads. And just finally, Amari, you must get sick of being asked about this, but your dad, a gold medal winner, <laughs> your godfather, some bloke that I think we might know who runs a bit. Were you ever tempted to go that way? Was there ever a conflict between football and, and, and that side of athletics? Yeah, definitely. I, I started, I joined the athletics club when I was really young. I did really enjoy it, but then I was, it just wasn't for me. As soon as I got a ball at my feet, that's all I wanted to do. Um, I always got the story of one day I done because my dad done 400. I done 400 meters. It's the only race I've ever lost. So I said I'm not doing that ever again. And it was just it was crazy. So yeah. I said it was the last question, but what did your dad say about that when you went? It's not that. It's football. Nah, he was all right. He, he, <laughs> I think he wants to have that glory side, and I have this uh, glory side of the football. So yeah, definitely.